Okay, hi, we're going to take you guys around uh, this camper conversion then. This has uh, been based on a 2013 Citroen Relay. Uh, it's got nice straight walls and it's got plenty of space in the back, so that's uh, why we've chosen this van for the conversion. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll take you for a tour, starting from the front, up here in the cab area. So, um, we've taken out the double passenger seat that you um, normally find in these vans and we put these two single seats in. Uh, for two reasons. One, so that we can get in and out of the van um, without having to get out of the van to get into the back area. Uh, and also uh, for us to then turn this into the dining area. So what we've done is we've put swivel seats on both of these uh, chairs here. So just to show you an example, you can turn this one in. Just there. And push it back. Uh, and then yeah, we've got a little um, bracket here that we can put the table leg into. And we've also got this handmade oak table top that I've made out of some oak I had around. And uh, this becomes the dining area. Um, it's great, it's a lovely piece of wood here uh, that we've covered with some Danish oil. Uh, but it's lovely when you've got this uh, view as well when you're when you're parked up somewhere nice and um, yeah when when you're not using it as a, a sort of an eating area uh, it really opens up the van as well to the back and becomes sort of like a really good sort of extra uh, seating area which is quite useful as well um, as we all know space is very limited in camper vans so uh, yeah speaking of the van we've got USB socket here to plug phones in and stuff and listen to music to. Um, it's got six gears which is quite good for cruising down the motorways. Uh, power steering and electric windows. You've got a CD player here as well and all the sort of the usual odd cons of a, a, uh, a modern vehicle really I guess. Um, so I'll we'll take you around to the back here. So we've got a little bit of storage up here in the cab area. Um, which is handy for storing books and things like that. We've got um, some storage up here as well, which is ideal for sort of duvets and towels and bits and pieces like that. Um, got, so this is the first of four curtains that we've got in the van. So this one here, for instance, can just be pulled back over to here and it's hooked on at the side to give you a bit of privacy in the evening. And this has got a sort of thermal blackout lining so this will keep all the light out but also keep it the temperature at the right place as well. So all this is handmade and even the twine has been made by my uh, lovely wife. The curtains were even made by my, by my nan. <laughs> and uh, these, um, even the brackets here have been handmade out of oak. Um, so a lot of time has been spent making this to spec. Um, but yeah, so we'll move on to the uh, the door leading to the toilet. So this sort of a nice rustic country style door, little barn door, um, and this will lead you into the bathroom here. So we've got a little mirror here, porthole mirror. Little porthole mirror. We've got the toilet inside of there as well as a little bit of storage as well for the if you get little toilet trees and bits and pieces and you switch these off by the touch of your finger as well um, this can be locked into place when you're in transit so it's got a magnet on it so when you're not moving around it will catch um, but when you are in transit you can lock it into place so it's not going anywhere whilst you're, whilst you're driving uh, also we've got this drop down table as well so again this can be locked away then when you want to use it when you're cooking it's ideal for opening up the worktop space as we found with a lot of campers that these smith kitchen units tend to take up a lot of the room and it doesn't leave you a lot of room for preparation so uh, as you can see it also opens up this sort of hidden spice rack as well um, so this is great so you can use this for a lot of worktop space we've got a lock down here as well so you can lock that into place in case you walk past and knock all your, your beautiful dinner 
all over the floor. And again, that should just be stowed away. And that's a, this is also an oak worktop as well, like the kitchen here. All tying in together. And here's the, the most fun part of them all, which is your toilet unit, everyone's favourite part of the camper van. So you can just pull this out as and when you want to, you know, empty your business. <laughs> um, so yeah, moving on to the kitchen. So we've got this uh, mountain shelf here, which is uh, being used just for a few little trinkets and stuff. Got a couple of um, mug holders as well. Uh, as you can see, working all the way around here, we've got these Moroccan tiles that have been, they were actually handmade in Morocco. And there's a guy in Bristol that, um, he was uh, part of the family who imports them into Bristol and then obviously sells them from his warehouse, but we thought they were pretty cool. Um, so here we've got a sink. And a tap, the tap's got a submersible pump connected to it, which runs down to here. And we've got some jerry cans set up for the water storage. So there's three in there. There's one for the wastewater and uh, two for the fresh water. And we've also got two gas hobs as well here. Uh, quite a good size as well. Got plenty of room as well on them. It's not like you're knocking all your pans over when you're using it. Um, yeah, again, like I said, this is an outwork top. It's pretty nice. So we got some drawers here, which have all been lined as well. One there, a couple of plates in there. Look. Uh, this is an extra bit of storage as well in there. We've got the bin as well on the back. Uh, this is uh, the fridge. So this is the latest model of the Wyco fridge. Uh, it's pretty efficient and it's nice and quiet as well. What's really handy, you've got this salad tray there and everything, but you've also got this uh, freezer compartment which can also be removed uh, if you want to just use it purely for, for the fridge. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's venting at the moment. And down here, you can see, uh, is where the gas is. So the gas has um, a sort of two-way switch here. Uh, so you've got valves to shut off um, the gas line to the cooker and the gas line to the Propex heater as well, just to isolate the two if there ever was a gas leak. Um, it's got a dropout vent here as well, which you can see. Uh, two gas bottles in here, both camping gas and retainer straps as well to keep them nice and safe whilst you're in transit. Uh, the gas has been tested as well by a local technician and is all safe in that respect, so that's good. Okay, down here is our Propex heater. Uh, so that's just been newly installed and uh, it comes with a thermostat as well, so um, you can leave that on overnight and that will um, heat the room back up as soon as the temperature drops, which is pretty handy. Um, got two 230 volt plug sockets here, one by the kitchen as well. Uh, we do have an inverter as well, I'll speak more about the electrics in a minute, but you can actually use those um, off-grid as well. Sorry, it's a bit windy. Uh, so we've got light switch here, one for the bathroom and one for the, the main lights in here as well. Um, so these lights, for example, these are all touch sensitive as well. And if you hold your finger on them, I hope the camera can pick that up, but they actually dim down as well. And then when you want them to come back up, just reverse that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, CO2 alarm as well here, in case there ever is a gas leak. Um, coat rack, this little deer coat rack, which has been um, hand cut as well. Um, and moving on, we've got... So that this is uh, also a seat box, by the way. A little example there, me sitting on the seat box. Um, We've also got some more storage for the bed too. Again, this can also be locked. But this is ideal for clothes. Uh, it's actually an absolutely massive drawer. <laughs> so, um, yeah. 
plenty of room to take, you know, one week, two weeks worth of clothes. So, um, yeah, that's ideal. Uh, so moving on over here, um, you can come around and see this. Uh, I've got this nice little hand-cut oak map here. Um, this was um, cut by my wife, which took a very long time, and I do appreciate all her efforts for this lovely work. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got this oak map that you can gaze at whilst you're you know, chilling out in the evening. Got two reading lights on the sides here. Uh, There's an example of what the doors look like when they're closed. Um, got the tie backs on both of the windows um, and I'll just point this out hopefully without making a mess on the bed is you can pull the twine across like so and then you can pull the curtains out which I'm not doing a very good job of because I don't want to make the bed a mess but um, that will give you lots of privacy as well and helps keep the curtain back towards the window which is pretty handy um, and yeah they've got all these lovely oak strips across the, the door panels there as well to make them look a bit nicer yeah I'm just going to point out as well we've got another 12 volt light up here um, which is actually run by the battery on the van um, so that's separate to your, your mains hook up or your, the solar panel battery as well so uh, left that in in case there was ever an emergency with the lighting or anything we can use that. It's also quite handy if you're in the front and uh, you haven't got the lights on in the back that you can use that to walk into and um, then switch the lights on. Um, so speaking about the power, if you see here this is your solar charge controller so we can operate the power um, solely from this and if I click on it at the moment it can give you an update on how the battery is doing so at the moment we've got 14 volts um, that indicates that the power is on, so we can switch that off. Um, and yeah, this so this is hooked up to a solar panel which is on the roof, and um, that's a 250 watt solar panel up there, um, which is leading down to two 135 amp hour leisure batteries, um, which gives us plenty of storage, uh, which is ideal for going off grid. So that that solar panel will give you plenty of energy, especially in the summer. And um, yeah, and it will keep all your 12 volt appliances going nicely. Um, you could even use your 230 volts for a little bit as well. Um, but you've also got mains hookup, which I'll show you on the side and all that really quickly. Um, just before we go around there, I'll quickly show you. We've got um, a vent here as well. So this is ideal for when you cooking to help release some of the moisture because it's stuck because it's, it's really frozen and cold out here. So yeah, that opens that up. Uh, you've got three settings on there. You've also got a fly screen and the, uh, the blackout blind as well when you're going to bed. Um, so yeah, I'll take you around here. The, uh, the two here. You've got a plug socket here which opens up and you can hook up straight into there for uh, your mains hook up on campsites. Uh, but the solar panel is great if you're looking to go away to like festivals or you want to, um, you know, you're staying in a more rural campsite where perhaps they don't have um, uh, hook up, you know, so you can spend your, uh, a week there quite happy. Fans alarmed as well, and uh, these windows that are on here are tinted windows, so um, it gives it quite a nice sleep look as well. But it also stops people from going in. Barbecues or any of your outdoor bits. We've got a microwave here in the back as well. Um, like I said, the inverter is an 1800 watt inverter, so it can handle that uh, microwave if you're off grid as well. Yeah, so we've got the bed sheets here. Yeah. Yeah. The electrics have been fused. 
That's about all of it to do with the van.